Okay, so I'm going to start on carding her back. Um, she has a nice big calic right here because she wears a collar. So probably not going to be able to get that out. Not this time anyway. And she has not been carded in many months. <laughs> in fact, she's growing back from being shaved down. So we're just going to, this is a first time to go at it in a while. So I've got my party knives here. I've got my coarse, medium, fine. I've got a couple stones. So I'm going to start with the coarse. I'm going to start at the top of the neck. And I don't normally do this with one hand. So we'll see how, how it goes. So I'm holding this at a nearly flat angle. And I'm starting with the coarse. So you're not raking their skin, just to be clear. And this actually feels pretty good. And the more you do it, you see all this fluffy dead hair. That's all the dead hair that we're pulling out. And what's gonna be left is nice, beautiful, shiny back coat. And a lot of hair on the ground. So I don't know if I can uh, do this whole thing and still be able to upload it, but we'll see if I can't, then I will try to put it on YouTube. Again, I don't normally do this one-handed, but I'm trying to demonstrate as best as I can. Normally, you know, it's easier if you can hold the skin taut while you're doing this. see how it goes. I can't really do the top of the neck with one hand, so... <laughs> Like I said, this she's been shaved down oh, at least three or four times in her life after after her show career, and I haven't decided if I'm growing her out yet or not. But she's got such beautiful coat when she's in full coat that I'm thinking about it. I don't have anything in coat, so why not? So when you get to a point where you're not getting that much out with your course, and this is why you really do need all three knives <laughs> if you want to really get it done, is because you go from one to the next to the next until you've gotten out as much as you can. So there's already a big difference um, in the way it looks already. It's a little swirly, but like I said, that's just because I haven't I haven't done anything with it in a long time. And the more you card, the more often you card, you know, the straighter you can train the hair to be. Not in all cases, if it's not a um, Good texture, that's not usually the case. It's just not. So it's nice and shiny already. I'm gonna go ahead and move to the medium. Starting at the top again. And it shouldn't take hours to do this, honestly. I mean, even on her back coat that, you know, hasn't been worked on in a long time. I 
And like I said, she wears a collar, so this is just going to be the way it is for a while. I'm going to stop putting the collar on and fix it over time, but it is what it is for right now. And I'll get in her hips a little bit better too when she's standing up. I just can't do that one-handed. I can do a lot of things, but I cannot do that. Same with her shaping kind of her rib cage. She kind of needs to be standing up for that. You always want to card in the direction that you want the hair to lay. Okay, that's good enough for now. Then I'll go to the fine. Same thing. And like I said, I'll get this a little bit better when I have two hands. But you can already see, you know, how far how much is, you know, how much we're accomplishing in a short period of time. Got a lot of hair. Anyway, so you get the point. This was seven minutes of work. Let's see if we can get a little more light. There we go. Seven minutes of work. It's got a great texture already. It's only going to get better over time. Feel free to ask questions.